Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I want to show you my GBC Rev C all in one board. Um, if you can remember, this was the Rev B one, the last one I shown, um, which was okay. Um, I showed it off to the community, and people were like, oh, I love it. But could you add this, that, and the other? So I kind of went back to the drawing board and kind of, kind of completely started again. Not completely started again, but chose different components. Like this one had just the gen general Game Boy Color layout, it had the uh, hard buttons, clicky buttons. Um, I wanted to remedy all this, I wanted to add extra buttons, beef, beef up the sound, change the screen. So what I did was change to a 2.8 inch screen in the portrait um, orientation, unlike the other one, which was just a, a landscape. It kind of filled the screen lens a lot better. I added um, X and Y buttons on the front, uh, L and R on the back, made a little bracket. Uh, these use like uh, soft touch buttons, so they basically feel exactly the same as the silicone. Silicone buttons, they're all silicone now. The start and select are back to silicone rather than being the, the hard hard touch ones. Uh, I beefed up the sound, put an amp, amp board in, put a circuit, um, filter circuit in with some resistors and capacitors. Um, the sound is amazing. We've got a proper speaker now, rather than before at the piezo, I went, I upgraded to a Game Boy Color speaker. Uh, we've got the stereo uh, headphone jack. We've got also the same USB-C charging on the side. We've got the headphone, um, the volume wheel, exactly the same. Um, power button, exactly the same. Um, we've still got the um, 18, six, uh, the 14, 500 batteries, uh, LiPo batteries. This is um, a shell. This is the Retro 6 shell, which is quite good. This is the uh, IPS um, ready shell. Um, but I've noticed that in the battery bay, it's actually all, um, unlike this, a normal battery bay where it has the sort of parts for the batteries to go in. The other one is kind of just like a big, it's just like a big box. So you could put um, just a, uh, like a, a, like a lipo cell in there if you wanted to. Um, I've also as well upgraded, because with this I'd basically just solder a wire from the battery bay to the board. But on this, I've actually made a little adapter, which has a, a 90 degree male header on the shell and then a female header on the board so that when they just go together, so there's no ugly wires to get in the way, it just makes it a lot easier to um, assemble it, to assemble it. Um, it's still got the same um, battery cover, uh, the uh, fake cart cover with the magnet, holds it in place, which is quite nice. Um, I've also added, um, like Natalie the Nerd style, um, LED buttons, LEDs under the buttons, but I've also added a switch in the battery bay, so you can actually turn these off if you want to. Turn them back on. Just use a little tweezers or whatever. Just like because sometimes you want to conserve conserve battery life, and you want to, you know, and you don't obviously always want it flashing. Um, I put like a uh, little green ones here to mark, kind of match the color scheme, and then put blue ones on there. So you can put any color LEDs, but they're just standard LEDs. They're not addressable. They're just on or off. Uh, I'll give you a quick demo. This one is a Raspberry Pi, just zero. And whilst I was making this, I almost was going to release it, and then the Raspberry Pi Zero Two come out. So I kind of did a bit of testing with that, um, and then kind of bit the bullet. I was the most worried about was was the was the power board with the power board be able to power the Raspberry Zero Two, but it can. Luckily, they've done lots of um, power management so that it does obviously use batteries quicker, but um, it doesn't. It's not. It doesn't. Um, I was worried that it's going to undervolt with that power board, but it's a good power board, so all is good. I'll give you a quick demo. This can basically play um, up to a Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance um, on the. I've actually used an older version of RetroPie, which is uh, 4.5.1, because it's uh, a lot faster. But it doesn't really make any difference. There's not very much added, it's been added. But if you play um, a quick demo of Doom, which I think is a good tech demo to play, and it just runs lightning fast, as you can see. And then on the uh, Zero two, you can play basically PlayStation games or Nintendo 64 games. Uh, I'll give you a quick demo of the um, Tony Hawks. You obviously are limited to the PlayStation games because you haven't got the um, uh, analog sticks, but most of the games kind of didn't really use them anyway because of, they weren't released originally with the analog sticks, so you can, can kind of get away with it.
But it's kind of weird playing a PlayStation game on a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy Color uh, form factor. But yeah, as you see, it plays quite smooth. Really loud sound, really good. And obviously, you just um, the volume wheel is reversed as it is on the Game Boy Color as well, which uh, is weird. But I'm not sure why they did that. But yeah, so um, as 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 always, I'm going to release the files for this. Uh, the PCB files, the shell cutting. Um, I'll show you a bit more. I'll show you a bit of the shell cutting. It's not really much. There's the holes to drill, but there's holes in the uh, PCB. There's also a 3D printed file that I've got as well. So if you, um, but you, you don't have to have the buttons. As the thing is, you can just have it a straight up, straight up GBC layout, or you can add the buttons. You can add just the L and R buttons. They've got um, a bracket that I've made. They've got holes. Um, uh, guides to drill as well to drill the holes with right here with the back you've only got the uh, two LNRs to do then the back of it you kind of just take this part you can just cut straight across if you cut front and back and then you can kind of like and then down the side you can just snap it out and then there's just a little gap at the top for the uh, SD card so you can get access to the SD card that has like that obviously the, the i'll give the three print file for that uh, at the front there's if you get the shell this re, uh, retro six shell it's a lot easier to do the front otherwise you have to chop the top and the bottom just to let the screen uh, in there and then that is it, it really you got the ln um, x and y buttons to cut uh, to drill and that's it there's not a lot of um cutting there's like this piece uh, this is the uh, power power port i'm calling it um, that you just glue, literally just glue straight in there and then you just glue the, the connector on and then just solder straight onto there or you could if you wanted to just solder straight from the battery bay onto the board if, you, if you're not if you're not bothered about that um, but yeah as usual there'll be all the files, all the three different files, there's like a whole um, um, tutorial um, playlist um, but also like a blog post talking about all the different bits more of it, there's blog posts with more info on this kind of stuff if you if you've missed anything on here um but yeah as always thanks for watching and happy hacking